I have been saying this is the time for monitoring, the time for monoclonals with some twists there recently, but now antivirals. Um, but I also wanted to add another thing in here, and I'll touch back on this. Also, the time to consider enrollment in clinical trials, right? We we still don't have this um, nut fully cracked. We're still not sure what the best thing to do during this first week is. So let's talk about the two um, the two medications, Paxlovid and Malnupiravir. Paxlovid is one of the first oral medications that's been given emergency use authorization from the FDA to reduce hospitalizations and death from COVID-19. So, as you can see here, there were a considerable amount of side effects related to placebo, which would seem to indicate that Paxlovid is very well tolerated and has minimal adverse events, serious events. Okay, let's talk about availability now of this medication. So remember that it is predicted with Omicron in 2022 that we may be seeing up to 1 million new cases a day. And Pfizer is stating that they should have, for at least 2021, 180,000 doses for patients. That means 180,000 packets to treat 180,000 patients. And when I say doses or packets, these are basically courses of medications that the patient would take over a five-day period of time. They are trying to ramp up production, and they believe that in 2022, they should be able to dose 120 million patients. And of course, that's worldwide. The United States government has already purchased 10 million packets at a cost of $5.3 billion. And if you do the math, you'll see that it costs about $530 per packet. So you can see that the science shows that this medication can be very effective in the population that we're most concerned about in terms of hospitalization. I think the real question is going to be, how do we ration this medication that clearly we won't have enough of to treat everybody who comes down with SARS-CoV-2? So what we have here is a great addition to the toolbox for physicians to treat patients with mild to moderate COVID-19 as outpatients. Pfizer has told us that the proteases in the Omicron variant are very similar to the previous ones. There hasn't been much change there. And they have internal data that indicates that this medication, Paxlovid, is very effective and just as effective, indeed, with Omicron as it is with Delta and prior variants of concern. This medication is going to be given emergency use authorization for patients who have had symptoms for five days or less. There's probably not enough medication to go around for everybody with mild to moderate disease. Patients who are outside that window will probably not receive this medication. The big question we're getting now is these medicines are becoming available, but the logistics, how do you actually get these medicines, right? They're an incredibly limited supply. So, so what have we heard? Um, we've heard that a couple of pharmacies have been selected as dispensing pharmacy partners. Um, and this is really to our clinicians out there, because patients, um, you're going to really have to be working with your clinicians to access this. Um, Walmart actually has set up a nice web site. Um, and you just Google Walmart COVID medications, and then you go to this website, walmart.com forward slash CP forward slash 27666660. Um, this will hopefully be in our show notes. You can link to that. I sent this to you, Vincent. Okay. Um, and, and this can help you find out which Walmarts locally might have these. Uh, CVS has also been selected as a dispensing pharmacy partner. Um, and again, there's a CVS website, cvs.com forward slash content forward slash coronavirus. Um, it, at this point, that, that website is still a little bit primitive, um, but I'm sure these will improve. Uh, what we've really done um, is try to have local physicians know which pharmacies have these. For instance, here in Nassau County, we know that the CVS Glen Cove, CVS Hempstead, CVS Hem Freeport has this. Um, now, one of the bits of advice, in addition to knowing where you might be able to find these medicines, is we anticipate that Paxlovid will be in significantly limited supply, um, even though it is considered the preferred medication. Um, so logistically, this will be hard, but the suggestion is you write a script, Paxlovid, 150 milligrams, two taps POBID, dispense number 20, with ritonavir, 100 milligrams POBID, dispense number 10. Um, now, 
this should sort of come as a as an EMR thing that you click on. But these three tablets will be packaged together, and then all three are taken as a single dose twice a day. Um, but what you're supposed to also put on this script is, if unavailable, may substitute. Um, this is your choice as a as a prescriber. Um, malnupiravir, 200 milligram tablets, four tabs POBID. So that's four tablets by mouth twice a day dispense number 40. Um, and the idea would be is, is our EMRs or electronic medical records will have these built in so that this script is generated with the flow through. You can check or uncheck a box if you want to go. Um, this is the idea. If it shows up, they have no Paxlovid, time matters. Uh, they can default to the malnupiravir.